Today, we're going to be going over the Anakin Slide Tube Kit. This is one of them smart tube kits, baby. It's got really nice flavor, and it's a legit mouth-to-lung vape. This one was designed by the godfather himself, Phil Basardo and Dimitri. Let's take a look at it down low. Before we get into the video, don't forget, insiders, head on over to our Facebook group. We're going to have a link down below. The bigger the group gets, the stronger we get, the more informed we are. Head on over there and check it out. There's a great group of people over there. Check out Mr. Funkadelic there, huh? A little bit of Starry Night action by Van Gogh going on over there, right? Kind of interesting. There's the new 24 millimeter slide tank. You do get a spare glass. Let's start off with the tank. This is the new 24 millimeter slide tank. And I got to tell you, man, when I did the Adept kit and I used that slide tank, to me, this is the best mouth to lung sub ohm tank on the market, bar none. I haven't tried the 24 yet, but I don't expect it to be any different. On the bottom here, you can see you got little airflow holes right there so you can dial in your perfect mouth-to-lung vape. All right, that's kind of cool. On the bottom there, you can see a gold-plated 510 pin, insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that. On the top, here is your mouth-to-lung drip tip. When you pull it out, it's a 510 drip tip, and you see that little nipple in there, right? That little nipple right there prevents you from sliding it open, which is really simple and ingenious. Like I said, the spare drip tip doesn't have that. I love that. I love that that locks it down. A little bit of a pro tip. If you don't want to take it all the way out, just pull it out a little bit and you can slide it open just like that. Decent size fill port, needle nose bottles only, bull nose bottles, and I'll probably make a mess. You could probably get a, a glass dropper in there. It's got a nice resistance. But honestly, who cares? It locks down. Once you push that drip tip all the way down, you can't open it. So awesome job on that. I do like the way they took this cage and they matched it to the mod. I think they did an awesome job with that. I like this big viewing window so you can see your juice. Awesome job with that as well. Now, in order to access your coil, just like the old slide tank, all you do is unscrew the base, pop it off just like that. By the way, this ring here comes off for cleaning. You can separate it from the base, the airflow ring, just so you know. And it's a plug and play coil like we've seen with the other slide tank, all right? You have to line up the flat edges of the coil with the flat edges here and then just pop it right in. That's how this works. Okay, now you can see this is the 1.2 ohm coil, Canthal, 10 to 14 watts. You can see it's got that anti-spitback screen on there, all right? This is a very flavorful coil. I definitely enjoyed it in my Adept Slide kit. Here is the spare coil. This is the 0.8 ohm Canthal coil, good for 15 to 18 watts. You can see it has that anti-spitback guard right there as well. This one is more my jam. This is the one we're going to install. Like I showed you before, in order to install it, line up the flat edges, make sure it sits flush, otherwise your base won't install correctly. Once it's sitting flush, give a little reverse thread and screw that base right on there. Make sure everything's nice and snug. Pull your drip tip out. There's your mark right there for the slider cap. Slide that bad boy open. Juice we're going to be using today is from Ghost this is their Pancake House series. This is Raspberry Hotcakes. You guys know I love raspberry vapes. And if you've gotten a look at me lately, you know I don't mind pancakes either. Let's put this one in the tank. Slider cap is open. Bottle is open. Give it a squeeze and just pop that juice right in there. Now, I didn't prime this one because these coils are so small and with the screen, they're actually tough to prime. So what I would suggest is you just fill that tank up and let it sit for a good 5 or 10 minutes. And while it's off the mod, give it a few dry pulls with the airflow closed and you should be good to go. Let's go over the actual mod. All right, we'll start off on top. Spring-loaded, gold-plated 510 that I would say 
has a medium spring to it with a medium throw. Kind of nice black over here. I kind of like that, all right? Definitely different than everything that's chrome. Nice fire button, raised. Kind of has like a diamond type of shape to it, all right? You'll see right here it says Lied Tube. Got a little bit of like a starry night theme going almost, right? A little bit. Kind of Van Gogh-ish, right? Not too bad. All right, a little bit of swirls going on there and different color blues, a little bit of pink in there. That's okay. I can rock the pink. On the bottom there, you can see 3,000 milliamp hour. All right, that's the capacity of it. Now, the nice thing about this mod is it's very simple. Five clicks, you see the lights go on right there, okay? And basically, as soon as you plug in your coil, as soon as you put your coil on top of it, it auto detects what coil you are at and it sets the wattage for you. Wanted to give you a quick size comparison. This is the Vaporesso Cascade One Plus. This is the Zlide Tube that we just went over. And this is the Smoke Stick V9. You can see, you know, these are the same types of mods, right? These other two mods don't have that auto detect. They just give you straight wattage. So they're not as smart, the other two mods as this tube one is, but you can see very, very similar size. All right, that was the Vaporesso. Here it is next to the smoke. Very, very similar in size and form factor. Let's put the tank on. All right, so we're all filled up and attached to the mod. One, two, three, three clicks. You see those lights flashing, okay? Those lights are your LED battery indicators. When it is green, you are at 40 to 100%. When the light is blue, you're at 10 to 40%, and when it's red, you're at 1 to 10%, and it's time to recharge, okay? Those are your battery level indicators. This kit is basically idiot-proof. It auto-detects the coil, and you just hit the button and vape and adjust your airflow. That's all you have to do. There's nothing else to do on this thing, and it is a legitimate mouth-to-lung vape. This is for you mouth-to-lungers. Also included in the packaging, you get a quick start guide, you get a warning and safety guide, you get a micro USB cable for charging, and you also get some spare O-rings and a spare drip tip without the little nipple so that will not lock your top cap. All right, insiders, let's get into those cons and pros. We're going to start off with cons as usual because I like to end things on a positive note. First con is going to be I list this with a lot of internal battery mods. Although Inikin has a history of using really good internal batteries, this thing is eventually a throwaway piece. Sooner or later, you're going to have to chuck the tube part because you're going to cycle through that battery and it's going to be useless. So I got to throw that in as a con. However, remember, if you're buying this, you're going into this with your eyes wide open. You got to know that going in though. And the last con is going to be there's no adjustable wattage feature on this. I would have liked to have seen like a high, medium, a low, you know, a soft, normal, or strong, something like that built into the tube. I think that would have made this a nicer setup. But that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you on the cons. Let's get into the pros because there's a lot to go over on this one. First pro is going to be, man, that airflow, it's about as smooth as it gets. Let me show it to you wide open. You can hear the smoothness. It is smooth. There's not enough O's in smooth for this airflow. The airflow range is a great mouth to lung spectrum. It's along the whole mouth to lung spectrum. I like it. You legit mouth to lungers are going to love it. It's got some awesome flavor. Maybe one of the most flavorful mouth to lung sub ohm tanks on the market, bar none. Let me show you what I'm working with here, all right? Check it out. I got it wide open. Just nice, man. Just a nice, saturated mouth-to-lung vape. I'm telling you, man, you put like a donut or a custard in here with your cup of coffee in the morning, and it's just beautiful. Really, really nice mouth-to-lung vape with very good flavor. It's a pro. Love that locking top cap feature. Great capacity for a mouth to lung tank. This one charges fairly quickly. It's simple, it's easy to use. 
All you gotta do is add some juice and you're vaping, baby. Plenty of protections for the newbies out there. It's got great battery life. So that's it, insiders. Those are my cons and pros. Let's chat about this one a little bit. In my honest opinion, this may be one of the best newbie kits on the market at the moment right now. This is for somebody who's looking to get off of cigarettes. If you're that type of person, you're looking to get into vaping, definitely check this kit out. This is also for someone who's looking to upgrade maybe from a pod. This will suit you just fine. It's got a legitimate mouth to lung draw. If you want a, a draw that's equivalent to something like a cigarette, you're gonna get it on this kit. It's easy to use. It's got the smart chip inside. Even you experienced vapors that are diehard mouth to lungers are definitely going to appreciate the performance of this kit and the coils that are available for it. This one is definitely Deuces Jack approved. Let's get into some of the specs on the Inikin Slide Tube Kit. It features a 3000 milliamp hour battery. It does have one amp internal charging. There is also a battery charge indicator light. It also features a smart coil sensing. 16 watts is the maximum on it. It will fire down the 0.4 ohms. It has a 4 ml capacity and it is compatible with all slide coils. Want to thank Element Vape for sending this one my way. Make sure you check out the link down below. They got some great customer service and some awesome pricing as well. Before I forget insiders, make sure you head on over to our Facebook group. It's a great group, very active. We're always talking about vaping and advocacy over there. I guarantee you, you're gonna have a great time over there. There is no drama. It's a no drama zone. Don't forget, insiders, we still have to fight for our right to vape. You have to stick with it. You got to make sure we keep getting in these politicians' faces. We need to email them. We need to confront them in public. We need to tweet at them. We got to let them know we vape, we vote, and we're not going down without a fight. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out. Deuces.